Welcome back to my channel, hi I'm Mathematics, happy to see you here and in this video we're going to solve this really interesting exponential equation 3 to the x equal to x to the power 9. There are two methods, how can you solve this challenge and this is my first interpretation to this really interesting question. So first of all let's rewrite this challenge right here, so we have 3 to the power x equal to x to the power 9. First of all, let's raise both sides to the power 1 over 9. Don't ask me why, but let's do this. In, in a few minutes you will see why I do this. So take a look. Right here we raise both sides to the power 1 over 9. So to the power 1 over 9. We're raising both sides to the power 1 over 9. So we have 3 to the power x and we raise this left hand side to the power 1 over, over 9. And our right hand side equal to, we have x to the power 9 and we raise this to the power 1 over 9. Okay, nothing hard, we just raise both sides to the power 1 over 9. Why I do this? Because if you know a little bit about uh, power rules, uh, and uh, this is our power rule that we really need, so if you have a to the power x raised to the power y, this is equal to a to the power x times y. And for this, uh, in the, according to this uh, rule, we can easily apply this rule in this case right here, because we have x and y, so we should multiply our powers. So we have 3 to the power x over y, yeah, we have x over y, x over 9, sorry, yeah, and equal to uh, x uh, to the power 9 to the power 1 over 9 gives us only x, because we have 9 times 1 over 9, which gives us only, only 1, so we have equal to x. Right now, let's, let's raise both sides to the power 1 over x, okay, let's do this, let's bo raise both sides to the power 1 over 1 over x. So left hand side we raise into the power 1 over x, so we have 3 to the power x over 9 and we raise these to the power 1 over x okay equal to x to the power 1 over 1 over x so we just raise in both sides to the power 1 over x and take a look closely x over 9 times 1 over x we can easily cancel our x in our minds so we have only 3 to the power 1 over 9 okay so we have 3 to the power 1 over over 9 equal to x to the power 1 over x, okay, so we have x to the power 1 over x to the power 1 over x. What are we going to do next? Take a look closely. I suggest you a really great trick, but before showing this trick, I'm going to show you this really important rule. If we have a to the power x raised to the power y, we can easily write it as a to the power y raised to the power x. So someone called this rule of interchange, it's, this is really important rule in our case. So let's do this, let's apply this rule in this, on this left hand side. But take a look closely what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a really great trick, so we have 3 to the power 1 over 9, I raise this left hand side to the power 3, and I raise this power to the power 1 over 3. So it changed nothing for us, okay? So I just separate these two fields right here, okay? Let's do this. Okay, so right here I just raise this to the power 3, so I raise uh, my left hand side to the power 3 into the power 1 third. It changed nothing because 3 times 1 third gives us only 1, okay? And we have the same right hand side, x to the power 1 of x. Okay, take a look closer. Right here I'm going to apply this rule of interchange. So I wanted to change these powers 1 over 9 and 3. So we have 3 cube raised to the power 1 over 9 and all raised to the power 1, 1 third. Okay, so we have this 1 third and we just change these to, to powers 3 and 1 over 9 equal to x to the power 1 over x. And right now, take a look close, this 3 cube, everyone know about it, this is equal to 27, okay? So we have 27 to the power 1 over 9, and to the power, all of this, by to the power 1 over 3, equal to x to the power 1 over x. Okay, right now, our rule right here, 1 over 9 times 1 over 3 equal to 1 over, over 27. So we have 27, to the power 9 times 3, 27, so we have 27 to the power 1 over 27 equal to x to the power 1 over x. And right now, why I do this? Because right here we have really interesting, really interesting equation, okay? So right here we have 27 to the power 1 over 27. So it looks like we have situation like a to the power 1 over a, and this expression equal to x to the power 1 over x. So one and only way that this equation will have root is when a equal to x, so base equal to base and this power equal to this power. This is absolutely the same thing right here, absolutely the same thing right here in our denominator, so x should be equal to a. In our case, x should be equal to 
27. So from here, x equal to equal to 27. I hope you understand this logic. This is the first method and uh, I post, maybe I already post or I will post it in, in one week, a second method to this solution. This is a very great question because 27 is not only root to this challenge. This is a great manipulation, this is a great solution, but this is not the general solution. In maybe in one week, maybe I already post this video according to the second method with Lambert W function and uh, I will have the second root right here, maybe 1.5 I guess or maybe 1.15, something like that according to this challenge. So I hope you, maybe not 1.3, maybe I don't, don't remember actually, but there is second root. So this is our answer, answer, and we have x first equal to 27, and there is x second, according to uh, second method, okay? So I, I want you to look at it. So this is our root, but this is a great uh, solution. Also, we have a great power rule. We have a great tricks right here. So I hope you, we, I hope you understand this this explanation to this challenge. So x equal to 27. This is our solution to this challenge. Also, if you're interested in the second method, maybe I'll, I already post this video, or, or I will post this video in in one week. It will be it will be really interesting to look at this second root. It will be it will be really interesting to check my solution. So thank you for your time. Have a great day. Also, if you need help with any of these classes i have a lot of videos so with that being said see you in next videos have a great day and if this video is helpful in any way don't forget to like and subscribe and that definitely helped me out for this particular video see you in the next videos have a great day